Welcome once again. Let us now talk about when directive. So this directive basically determines whether the stage should be executed or not. It actually depends on a condition. So this when directive takes care of a condition if that condition is passing. In that case, it will allow that stage to run. And if that condition fails, then it does not execute that particular stage. So this directive also comes with some nested uh, conditions. For example, uh, it is making use of all of any of or not. So basically, if we provide multiple conditions, how it actually need to take care of those, whether all those conditions should be passed before, uh, you know, that stage to be getting executed or some of them are OK uh, to get that stage executed. So all sort of things can be controlled with this kind of conditions that we are having. So I'll be talking about these all of any of and not with examples. For now, let us take a very simple example. So let us say we have a simple pipeline with agent any and then a stage inside stages and steps we have not mentioned yet. So before I write something in the steps, I'm adding the environment block. I'm adding one environment variable on which I will be applying the condition. So I'm setting the value of one environment variable, which is ABC and the value I'm setting to hello. Now inside the stage one, I'm adding a when block before the steps. Now inside this when block, I'm adding a condition to check this environment variable. So environment, and then I need to use this keyword name and then colon. So the name of the environment variable I need to give here in quotes. So I'm specifying the value ABC and then comma. Again, I need to use the keyword value and then colon. And after that, I need to give the value of that environment variable, which is hello. All right. So this is how I will be comparing this value of this particular environment variable. And once the condition is passing only, then it will go inside this steps where I am simply echoing one message. Now let us put this script here inside the pipeline. So I have created a test pipeline and I'm adding just the script here and taking one run here by clicking on this build now. So you see it is now building. Let us go to the console logs and see what is happening there. So it says that it has passed. Now, if we check the logs, it has actually printed hello there message. So that means it has gone inside the stages steps and that means it has actually verified the condition and that's why it has executed the steps. Now to make sure whether that has actually checked the condition or not, I'm changing the value of this ABC environment variable to something else. All right. So value was hello, but here the condition is it should be high. So that means the condition will be failing now. So on this second run, it should give me a fail. Let us check here. The pipeline is passing though, but it will be telling me that the stage one is skipped due to the when condition. There, there is no exception here. The stage is actually passed, but it has not executed. All right. So this is how we can control the execution without throwing errors. Now, as we have used this condition for environment variables, we can have other conditions. For example, uh, we, we can have check on the branch whether we are on to right branch or not. So maybe in, in, in cases of multi-branch pipeline, you want to do something when your branch is master or main and you want to do something else when your branch is, let's say, development branch. Now, when you are giving branch, that does not mean that you can only give this condition, which is related to branch, but you can also specify a condition for environment variable. So multiple conditions I can put here inside well, uh, when block. And then if I want to check all the conditions, I can surround it by all of. If I want to check only specific conditions or maybe one out of those conditions to be true, I can say any of. So even if one condition is passed out of all the conditions, still the stage will be executed. And if I want to just uh, do the opposite of, uh, you know, the conditions, I can put it in not. Now let us take an example of two environment variables here. I do not have this multi branch pipeline, so I cannot make a check on this branch. So I will show you this all of and any of with example of two environment variables. So we have one environment variable, which is ABC. I create another one, let's say DEF and I give it another value, let's say high. All right, so I want to check two conditions right now. So I am adding another condition that environment name and the name of variable is DEF and the value is high. 
all right and i have surrounded it by all of so that means all of these conditions should be true to print this hello there in the output now if i change this def value to kamal in the condition so that means this condition will be failing but if instead of all of i surround it by any of so that means still the first condition is passing and it should execute the stage it should print the message here if we run it we are seeing some error and here the error is coming on def basically the error is not because we have done something wrong but yeah the issue is that we are using def which is a reserved keyword we cannot use this as a name of variable so we need to use some other name for this variable so let's say i give another name let's say efg all right so i am saving it again and taking another run this error should go away now so you see the job has passed and if you go inside the output you see it has printed hello there message because one of the conditions was true and we have said that any out of those conditions should be true to execute that so if you see all the options here on the pipelines reference book or i would say jenkins.io documentation you will see all these options which we can use which are straightforward so i will leave this to you you can refer these examples and try to include in your pipelines and in case you have any, any questions or any doubts feel free to post your questions i would definitely love to reply to your questions and also if it requires me to create a new tutorial i will definitely add that for you now before we move further there is one thing that i would like to tell you is that in the pipeline stage if we are having an agent and if we are having this when block so basically for that particular stage it goes into that agent first and only then it checks the condition but if we want that even before going inside that agent it should check the condition and if the condition is failing it should not even go inside that agent that can be done with one flag so here we are talking about this option which is evaluation of or evaluating when before entering to the agent so we can see this example we have we have this stage example deploy and in that the agent is given uh, as let's say some label and the condition says branch is production now in this when block itself we are saying that before agent true so this means that before even entering that agent this condition should be checked so if this flag is set it will be executing this when block before entering that agent and if you do not specify by default its value is no so similarly we have another option which is a before input which get uh, executed before the input block so if you want to execute this when block before this input block you need to set this flag to on that means true I hope this is clear to you and if this is clear let us move on to the next topic